Hey, Monday morning coffee. How are you guys doing? Uh, as you see, there's a little bit of sun here. I'm in Mexico City right now, right in the heart of the city. Um, if you haven't been in Mexico City, there is a, a area which is called Condesa, Roma. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, you feel actually that you are in Europe. That's really the feel. And the area where I love, you know, this morning, uh, I was awake at four. Uh, did already my jogging and there is a place there's a street which is called Amsterdam uh, which is just beautiful everybody's doing jogging there um, there's nice little coffee it's just a nice place to go and and to enjoy so um, I love I love this neighborhood here so this is where I am right now um, I just finished a call with uh, our company and and we started, we started this call that was 54 people in it. And we finished half with the people, like 27. And this is really what is happening with most of what we're doing is we're starting something because it sounds good, because we want to belong, because um, whatever reason. But then we're not finishing. And today was the last call. This is so, so important that you're persistent into whatever endeavor that you're taking. Because you will not figure it out right away. You will not get the success right away. And this is one part that I see why people are not successful. Like I have a friend that, man, like the amount of job that that friend have went through staggering. But how are you gonna become an expert if you're jumping ship every single time that there's a better opportunity on the other side? Which granted, you know, that will always be opportunity. There will always be something that sound better, look better, feels better, whatever it is. But really the trick is to really find something that you know that you, you would love, not because you want to earn money, because if you're making your decision based on gain, on income, on this, you're going to quit because it's going to come a, po a point where it's going to be so uncomfortable. It's going to be so much like not fun anymore that you will want to, to quit. And that is what's happening with most people is they're starting something and it, it, in the beginning, you know, it's always, yeah, it's new, right? So it's fun. But then it comes the real work. And those people, for the most part, they're quitting. And if you quit because it's uncomfortable, well, you, you're not gonna be successful. So you need to find something that you really, really love because when you're going to go through that hardship, because it, it's going to be a hardship. I, I promise you that I had a, I had the, the boyfriend of a friend of mine was telling me just like, Hey, how did you, how did you, you made it like, you know, in, into this, this town because it's so difficult. People are not open and blah, blah, blah. And, and what people are seeing, they're just seeing, they're just seeing the tip of the iceberg. You haven't seen all the work, all the groundwork that we went through and everything that we needed to be doing in order to get there. And you always see just a little tip, a little tip of the iceberg. You always see what I want to show you. You don't see everything else that I've been going through and, and all the work. And sometimes, you know, we go back to our archives and we look at all the events that we did and all the stuff and all the association and, and uh, the collaboration. I mean, there's so much stuff that we've done, but that was never an option to quit. Why? Because I do what I'm passionate about. Now, I'm not telling you that, like, I, you know, I figured it out. I didn't. I haven't figured out what I know is I really love what I'm doing. And my goal every single day is to get better at it every day. So if I'm getting better at what I'm doing today and then tomorrow I'm better than today, 
then I'm successful. Yeah, but Mark, you know, I have a hard time to eat and all. Well, trust me, I had that time too. I had that time that it was it was really, really hard. And if we didn't have um, the help of my wife, so this is why it's very important to have a, a very powerful support group around you. If I didn't have her help, like morally and financially and, and, you know, be there and supporting me into that endeavor. Well, I would have thought at some point that, you know what, maybe I need to go and find a job because I, this is not working. So the, the, the people that you're surrounding yourself with is extremely important. And most people, like if you have people which are in your surrounding that are putting you down, this is wrong people. This is the bad people. This is people that you don't want to, to be around because obviously they don't have you. And, and by the way, they don't do this because they want to be mean. Most of the time, there's, there's two reasons. They don't want you to get hurt, number one. And number two, you are making them feel bad because you're going after your dream. You're going after something that you want. And that's maybe the same thing that they want, but they don't have the courage of doing it. So what you need to do is you just need to separate yourself from that type of people if that people is not encouraging you, right? But you want to have people which are supporting you. You want to have people which are, are you know, they, they, even though they don't understand and they don't, you know, they don't buy from you or like they don't become your clients. And that's not the point. The point is really like you want to have people which have, your best interests at heart and they are supporting you. They are, they are encouraging you. They are like giving you, you know, advice kind of, you know, don't give up um, stuff like that and not, Oh, maybe like, you know, it's a lot of money or maybe you should do something else like this. Uh, and especially if that's people that do not, they have just an opinion and they're not expert into what you're talking about. You only take advices from experts and people that have went through this and they have a, by their results, they are having a proof that they know what they're talking about. Otherwise, it's just opinions and it, opinion is a cheap commodity and everybody has an opinion on something. And most of the time, their opinion means shit. Part of my French here, but I've been speaking French quite a bit this morning. <laughs> Wow, coffee is a little like messy. So what is going on with you? Um, it's very interesting because yesterday I was, uh, yesterday I was totally off. I mean, off. And I was totally controlled by my whole, my old habits. And I knew consciously, like, you need to do something. But then all of a sudden, I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to I'm just gonna let go. And I'm going to do nothing. I'm going to do absolutely nothing because right now, like, I'm feeling the fight, that internal battle I'm having with myself. And, but if you're not realizing that what, what I was doing yesterday was totally off and I was totally wrong and I was not going the right direction. If I don't realize this, how do I know that I'm walking in the right direction? So it's this balance that you need to understand. And sometimes, you know, you, you won't feel, you won't feel like to go and, and swing and, and go like full swing into your goal and your vision and what you're after. Sometimes it's going to feel like just a, uh, I don't know what it is today. But I really don't feel it. Like it's, I just don't feel it. it. It's good, you know. Take a day, you know. Sit down, um, watch some movies, uh, or just read a book. Do something that you you don't do normally. It's good to take a step back, because what that sometimes it's just like re re energizing your yourself. And I know this, this is where I was yesterday and, but I did not judge, which normally I would judge, oh, like you're so lazy, blah, blah, blah. And then to have this internal battle with myself. But yesterday I was like really calm and I was just observing. I was observing what was happening. And it was very interesting to see how the old 
paradigm, all the old habits are trying to resurface if you are having your guard down. So this is why it's important that you are habitually and daily having some exercise, which could be could be meditation, could be yoga, it could be like going running, um, exercising, whatever, whatever it is, whatever works for you, whatever like uh, like jazz you up. But you need to be doing something every single day that it's it's kind of it's kind of putting you in in line with what you want to accomplish what you want to do and if you're doing this you will realize that over time your life is better you you are you have more control you don't you don't let the old habit dictate how you act how you you react how that you respond but you are having that mental control and especially over your imagination. Do not let your imagination wander because most of the time the imagination, if it's wandering, it's going to go into negative um, neg negativity. And the reason for that is because there's so many negative feedback that are projected to us on a regular basis consistently. It comes from every side all the time. So this is why it's very important to have a control over your imagination and go in places in your mind of where you would like to go, of what you want to create. Does that make sense? This part is the work. This is where that you need to be working and focusing in and putting your attention on. And if you look at professional athletes, uh, which right now I have in mind, like, you know, Kobe Bryant, which... Uh, like God bless his heart, um, which left way too early. He was really, really good at visualizing and putting the work. So it's these two parts. So there's this mental work, mental attitude, mental toughness that needs to be there. Imagination and seeing yourself with your goal in your hands and, and succeeding. But as well, there is the work that needs to be put in every single day. There's both part. Because if you're putting the work, but your imagination is into the negativity and into the thing that doesn't work and why that uh, it's not going the, the way you want, your imagination is at the wrong place. Okay? You are utilizing it against yourself. But you cannot be sitting there like a, a monk with the leg crossed behind your head and just thinking that because you are imagining, things going to unfold and work on, it, on its own. That is not happening. So, and this is where that, you know, if you talk about metaphysics and some of, of those programs and stuff out there, which the law of attraction, one of the reasons why it, it, uh, so many people are, don't, do not believe in it, it's because that there was no prescribed action attached with the visualization and the thinking and the positivity which goes with it. That's not enough. You need to take positive action as well. You need to be emotionally involved with what you're thinking and what you're visualizing and, and what you're bringing to you, attracting to you, but there's some, so many actions that you need to be taken every single day. Otherwise it's incomplete, right? And this is the part I think that most people do not understand. You know about it, but you don't understand it. And we just had this in the conversation that I just had. And uh, that was as well part of the, the event that just finished uh, last weekend, the paradigm shift where that so many people says, yeah, I know this. Like I have a client that tells me, yeah, but I know all this. It's good. You might know it, but are you able to understand it, number one? And number two, are you capable of applying it? And remember, you understand the thing only when you can explain that thing to someone else and the other person is capable of understanding it and applying it.
This is where you understand. So just knowing is not enough. It's not good enough. It's truly the understanding and application of information that matters. Only when you understand and being able to apply the information will you get the success and uh, the results that you're looking for. So this is what I have for you today. Thank you so much for connecting with me. Um, I'm really, really excited about this week. Uh, next week, I'm going to, uh, I mean, I'm having a lot of things that I'm doing here, uh, but really excited, excited for you, excited like that you are, um, you are here, you're listening to this and uh, wish you a spectacular week and give me your comments below into the comment box. Let me know what you think and we'll connect next Monday uh, at another episode of Monday Morning Coffee. Peace out.